hi in this video i'm going to be showing us how we can make an advance payment to our vendors or suppliers okay so the first thing you need to do you go to this tax menu then you locate payments so once you click on payment you are going to select the vendor you are making the advance payment again so in this case i want to make an advance payment to yaxin so you have to be on this apply to expense then i'm going to select the dates if I have a number or a reference number to the payment I make, maybe the teller number, I will include the teller number here. So let's say teller number is 12761. Then I'm going to select today's date, which is 25th of September 2024. Then, uh, which account am I making the payment from? So I'm making the payment from my checking account, or you can call it bank account. So I'm going to select that. The ones we are done. From that angle, the next thing we are going to be doing is to click on this prepayment. So once you click on prepayment, that is you are telling Sage that you are making an advance payment. So from here, we now head on to the amount you want to make as the advance payment. So let's say you want to give an advance payment of fifty thousand so fifty thousand is already recorded now as you can see fifty fifty thousand then i'm gonna go ahead and uh click on save so uh click on save so once that is saved you can now prepare a report to see the effect of that transaction so i'm gonna go to report and forms then go to financial statement then from financial statement i would want to go to balance sheets so i'm going to click on balance sheet so from balance sheet here i'm going to select the period so it's between 1st of september to 30th of september so you leave as is except if you want to do some adjustment to the margin here or other adjustment so i'm going to go ahead and click on ok so now from this angle we're going to see that there's an account payable of minus 60. remember the advance payment is fifty thousand. So how do we now go? You can click you double click on the account payable. You see the fifty thousand that is recorded on the twenty fifth of September. So here you see that the advance payment has been made. Now there was a one twenty bill and payment of one twenty which has set off net off the balance. Now there is a ten thousand fifty thousand that is an extra sixty thousand. Making this to be 180. Yeah, then we have the negative balance of 16. So you have that 50,000 here as negative. So negative means, uh, remember, account payable, all figures are supposed to be in positive. But if it is negative, it means the other way around. So if it is positive, it means we are owing Yaxin a certain amount. But since it is negative, it means we've made an advance payment to Yaxin. So the next time you want to. Uh, make the purchase you can see it's showing negative there's a negative 10 before so the next time you want to you can go ahead and enter bill so let's say you want to create a new bill what that 50,000 so I'm gonna select the action uh, okay so once I select the action I'm gonna go to item and select picnic then I'm gonna have it to be 50,000 so everything will adjust so that is by one two that is 41.67 i just want to have or uh, let's say uh let's say no 50,000 is okay okay so 50,000 let me quickly delete this okay now you see over here other payment and credit we have 50,000 invoice total mm -hmm. and we have vendor balance of minus 60 so it means this 50 will go out of this 60 which will remain in fact let me just make it 60 so that we have a, uh, we'll have everything out knocked out so here we have 41 point six seven as a quantity but i can decide to put the price 
at one two but if it is at one two you have the amount so let's see i want to get for 50. so 50 by one two is sixty thousand so we have sixty thousand and we have sixty thousand so i'm gonna go ahead and click on save oh the invoice number where is it oh there's no invoice number so it has to be there let me use 12 or 0012 okay so go ahead and save so let's quickly head back to the report report and forms we'll go to financial statement click on balance sheets then okay now you see there is no any other current liability rather the 120 that was there before has now increased by 60 for our inventory which now gives us um 180 so this is how you make an advance payment in siege